It's 24 minutes past eight. Text messaging is one of the most common ways for young Kiwis to communicate. And while some learning institutions are imposing cell phone bans, others are embracing the technology. An information systems lecturer at the University of Auckland is encouraging students to communicate with him via SMS during lectures. Amy Kelly looks at the latest leap in 21st century learning. It's hands down, thumbs out in this lecture theatre. Information system students communicating in the shared language of technology. It's the new age. There's different ways of expressing yourself. When Professor Koru Tawa asks a question, the entire room can answer, thanks to a small-scale text voting system projecting answers at the front of the room. The professor took the idea of remote control-style clickers used in American classrooms and changed the input device. To something that uh, all students have. They all have a mobile phone and they're very comfortable using that as an as a interface and a tool. The unconventional teaching tools raising eyebrows for all the right reasons. I remember I did a lecture last year and uh, I, uh, I couldn't get out of the lecture because I had the, the next lecturer coming up to me saying, I, know, I want that, how do I get that and, and what can I do? A lot of people might ask what's wrong with old-fashioned verbal communication with putting your hand up to answer a question. What do you say to that? Oh, I think there is nothing wrong with that, actually. When students are texting, they are actually talking to each other. And there's a, you know, there's a huge sort of dimension in which they are communicating. Uh, maybe it's about the device, but uh, most often you can even hear the verbal chatter where they're talking about the question with their friends. As well as voting in multi-choice polls, students can text their own questions or opinions throughout the lecture, giving immediate feedback on how well subject matters got them through. In the next session, I'll, I'll change the delivery of a specific topic uh, to ensure that it's you know, understood better than what, I, than what some of the data has uh, sort of fed back to us. What about the cost? You might think it's a deterring factor for cash poor students, but the university has that base covered. The night before each of Koru's lectures, his students' net accounts are credited with the exact amount required to answer his questions the next day. But not all these tech-savvy students are sold on the idea of cell phones in classrooms. Yeah, it's a bit of a distraction. If you're going to be texting and you're not going to be exactly listening to what he's saying, uh, it's more impersonal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does that bother you? Um, a little bit. Impersonal may be, but it means it's no longer just the most vocal students who get a say. It's not one person has an opinion over another one, it's anyone. Classroom question time has never been more democratic.